Hey guys and ghouls, welcome back to the Cozy Ghost. I'm your host, October, and we are back with Welcome Home, the new update. Um, filming them literally right after each other. Let's just go. Rainbow Letters, the Eddie Deer playset. Date estimate, 1971, unknown manufacturer. This array of brightly colored letters seems to be inspired by the equally as colorful neighbors of home, such as Howdy Pillar, Frank Frankly, and Barnaby B. Beagle. These pieces are predicted to have been from an activity set based upon the efforts of the friendly and reliable mailman, Eddie Deer. It seems as though whoever enjoyed this playset had a grand time pretending to mail letters to their favorite playfellow puppets. Interesting. Pretend, sure, but these are all different handwriting. Well, if you told me to tell you when I got more paint in stock. So here I am telling you. But, boy, you go through this stuff faster than, uh, than Julie through chalk. Okay. I would call you myself, but I have my hands full. All four of them. Ha! Huh? Your favorite supporter of the arts, Handy Pillar. Howdy Pillar. P.S. You... I, I can't read that. Wally Darling, Barnaby Home. Dear Wally Darling, how are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm having a good day. I know you would ask if you were here. You found a new insect today. Remember what an insect is, don't you? It's a beautiful arthropod. I drew you a picture of it. I thought out of everyone... Oh, I have found a new... <laughs> not you have found. I have found a new insect today. Um, I drew you a picture. I thought out of everyone in this neighborhood, you would appreciate its extravagant colors. I had to write it to you as soon as I had seen it, before it went on its way. From Frank Frankly. Legs are big and soft, rounded, tapered toward the belly. These are all the bugs that we've been seeing around the website. Meaning, Wally has been drawing them, right? Eddie's Big Lift Storybook Record. Oh, it's five minutes long. A rare find indeed. Date unknown, published by Marla Records. We were able to uncover not only the complete original audio from this Welcome Home Storybook, but several illustrations speculated to have been part of either the record, pack the record packaging or a complimentary storybook. Listen below as the neighborhood comes together to challenge the might of the resilient, reliable mailman, Eddie Deer. Hi, Sally. Hey, Hi, Frank. Hi, Eddie. 
Whoa, that was like legitimately disturbing to hear. Just Wally with everyone else just having to say hi to everybody. I don't know why, that like was kind of lit that was unsettling. I'm on the ground again. <laughs> oh, this is supposed to be unsettling, and it is, but it's also hilarious. And now I'm up again. Life sure got its ups and downs, eh, Bell? Uh, but seriously, Jules, what's this new game of yours? It's not a game. I promise to Sally that Eddie can live everyone in the neighborhood. Oh, why didn't you say so? Eddie. You should have started with me, seeing as I'm such a tiny little pooch and all. I mean, it wouldn't be much harder than lifting a couple envelopes, huh? Picking up a little guy like me, it's hardly even worth showing off at this point, when you've already managed guys so much bigger. But might as well, just so you can say honestly, you've managed a full collection, right? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, here we go. No, go, get out. No, run. Little more. Yes! Oh, oh my. Oh, now Barnaby's up there. <laughs> Frank's just, oh my. <laughs> That's just, it was just so fruity. I love him. <laughs> I just love them all. They're all great. They're all phenomenal. I just, I'm sorry. this one. That was impressive, Ed. You all right? Oh, yeah. This Peachy Barnaby, thanks for asking. Oh, well, I still say it's only just passable. I bet I can do it better. Barnaby, get over here. I bet I can lift you over my head. Yeah, all right. No, 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 no. I'm ending this right now. Ooh, let's go see that Eddie can lift Poppy and Howdy next. Not if I can let them first. Well, I know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. Come on, little buddy. Let's catch this show. Eddie's going to lift up home. That's the most. We could go to Howdy's together and home can pick up his own. Yeah, y'all can go ahead. I'll, I'll catch up. You always did work too hard. Huh? I'm going inside. Enjoy the grounds, Mr. Deer. Alrighty. Say, uh, before you go, any chance I can get a hang in a... Oh, you're gone. Aw. That's fine. I'll uh, get to pick myself up before the cows come home. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? That was an interesting little su- oh. Currently unknown records. Ooh, I can't click these. Ooh, interesting. I cannot click these. Welcome home theme, a joyful jump. What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. Who is that in the background? That's not Wally. That better not be Wally. Currently unknown records, including Welcome Home, Drawing with Wally Darling, and Fun in Your Frown. Dated estimate 1970 1972, Marlowe Records. Get ready to laugh, draw, and sing with your favorite cast of puppets from the Welcome Home television program through this collection of newly undiscovered vinyl records. Although not entirely from the same catalog, these records display an array of different music and activities that range from singing with Frank and Julie about the joys of frowning, to Wally's helpful guide to drawing, and an array of other silly songs meant to keep the viewers engaged with this delightful television show. Unfortunately, these records are heavily damaged and appear to be poorly maintained, so efforts to recover the audio are still ongoing.
<laughs> that was cute. Oh, crispy sweets rice puff cereal. That's so cute. As a cereal, it's the most. This is so cute. Uh, currently, this deliciously sweet treat is only known through the discovery of an advertising standee, which you can see restored above. One can only imagine the joy of seeing this charming standee in their own local supermarket, surely beside a fully stocked shelf of crispy sweets ready to take home. This search is ongoing to recover the original cereal packaging, so we might learn more about this neighborly part of a complete breakfast. Wally Darling's Coloring Book. You're so good at this. Wally Darling's Coloring Book. With the help of this beautiful booklet, viewers could color along with Wally Darling right at home. Though we've only been able to restore one out of surely many illustrations including in the book, the recovery of the complete cover, including print and publisher information, is an unexpectedly wonderful find. Wally is the only one that actually ever says I love you, which is something that is often avoided directly said, like, to be directly said in, like, stuff like this. Like, for example, it's typically puns over, like, the character. Like, I'm over the stars for you, and maybe the moon too. Or something about male. But, like, in, like, and this is the same for, like, other, other brands. But Wally's the only character- oh. Sorry, um, so that's just kind of an interesting little fact about his character. Mail in time day. Valentine's Day cards. Yeah, uh, I didn't realize it's pronounced mail in time like Valentine. Mail in time day. Date estimates 1971, manufacturer unknown. Love is in the air, so they say, and nowhere is that more clear than this package of welcome home Valentine's Day cards. They appear to be promoting a made-up holiday, as Mail-In-Time Day is found on the back of all of the cards as well as on the packaging itself. Packaging itself. This may have been a holiday displayed only on the show, perhaps associated with Eddie Deer. Wally and Barnaby are displayed on the yet-to-be-restored front of the package, wearing his uniform. Currently, lovely illustrations of Wally, Julie, Frank, Eddie, Sally, and Howdy have been recovered from the set found by the Welcome Home Restoration Team. <sighs> Hi, bud. More to, more to come? About media. We haven't checked out media. Oh. Slowly but surely, we've begun, we have begun to uncover media that confirms Welcome Home was once on the air. These remnants can be found below, including animation cells, radio plays, scripts, songs, and even interviews meant to publicize the show as it aired. One day, we hope to share footage derived from full episodes on this very page. We know it is out there. We'll find it soon. Live interview audio segment, 1969-1970. This audio appears to have been part of a live television interview, evidently shortly after Welcome Home began to air, and was a subsequent critical darling. Though no video footage has been unearthed, we were lucky to recover audio from a signif significant chunk of the interview featuring Wally Darling and Bar Barnaby V. Beagle in conversation with the host. We invite you to listen to the charming dialogue by yourself, yourself by clicking the player below. <laughs> oh, just wonderful. Oh, you sound like you have a lot going on in that neighborhood. That's a... Uh... Welcome home. Yes, yes, all oh, that beautiful world. Welcome home. Oh, since the show's really taken off, Wally, I'd say you're quite the popular character now. I am. You are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yes. And you're quite a little charmer, too, from what I heard. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Hey, that's exactly it. Is that why they call you Wally Darling? They call me Wally Darling because that's my name. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. You know, you're very beloved by a lot of different people now. Do you find yourself in any sort of romances lately? Hmm? Romance? Yes? It's a puppet. Friends in that neighborhood. In fact, I think you said you. Probably 
brought one in for us to meet. Is that right? Yes, it's my best friend. He's my neighbor, too. His name is Barney B. Beagle. <laughs> hey, oh, what? Hello. How you doing, Rick? Barnaby B. Beagle. Mr. Beagle, a pleasure to have you here. Hey, enough with the formalities. Beagle is my mother's name. Just call me Barn. Oh, is that right? She was a dog, too? Oh, no, no. She's a chicken. You might have heard of her. She's a real famous lady. She crossed the road once. She crossed the road. What for? To get to the other side. They're still talking about it to this very day. <laughs> well, oh, to this very day. Wally, you certainly live amongst a colorful array of characters. It's no wonder you've come into stardom recently. So how are you two handling the attention? I've been destined for show business since I was just a puppy. It wants a couple more eyes to the well-known comedian like me. As long as they're not throwing tomatoes at me, it sounds like a walk in the park. I tell you, we got a neighbor who's got an arm like a professional baseball player. It's not easy. Oh, <laughs> well, I've ducked a few tomatoes in my own time. Uh, it sounds like a handful, Pound. What about you, Wally? What do you think of all this new film fame? I think it's just the most. Interesting. Very interesting. That interviewer seemed very obsessed, kind of with Wally specifically. Um, some of those questions were a little weird, and the tone that the interviewer had was kind of predatory, in my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. But yeah, that was a little odd for me. I'm gonna click this cute little bug. Are we watching more TV? Pause. Those are Wally's hands, holding some yarn. It's both his hands. So where's the camera coming from? Are his eyes cameras? That'd be interesting. Why? Why film everything? Wally is like the silent, helpful type. Oh, so pictures of animation. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Put image in a tab. Um, in post, in editing, I'll brighten this up so you guys can see more of it. But right now, I can't see any of it. So here we go. Um. These cute little pictures of Julie Rella. So this is frame 120, frame 312, date unknown. Originally speculated to be part of a tie-in storybook, the amazing uncovering of actual animation cells caused us to realize the truth, that they were likely part of an animated segment for an actual episode of Welcome Home. These finds now hold the great honor of, if by technicality, being the first on-screen footage our team has recovered. Based on what we found, we imagine this segment to have been a silly retelling of Cinderella, starring the various neighbors in the storybook roles. 
Above, we can see Julie Joyful as Cinderella herself, Barnaby as the fairy dog mother, Frank Frankly as the, as the prince, and of course, King Sally Starlet. It's quite possible the entire animation was meant to represent one of Sally's stage plays, or perhaps it would have been accompanied by one of the neighbors reading the story aloud. Just So Song Demo. And Julie's Just So Bowling Dress. It's cute. Date unknown. Below you can listen to what we suspect was an early scratch recording for a musical number that would grace an episode of Welcome Home. Though we have not recovered the full, complete song or backing instrumental, this landmark discovery has made us, makes us confident it is out there to find. For now, enjoy this delightful number as Frank and his neighbors ponder his particular peculiarities. Six minutes? All right. <laughs> Let's see now. Right over left, under, through, full on this side, down, up and around, pass it through, pull. There. A perfectly tied croquet tie. Frank! Frank! Oh, hi, Julie. Come on in. Frank, we're almost ready to start bowling again. I know, Julie. Just wait. Bowling? You can't just keep putting bowling in other games, Julie. Remember bowling basketball? You got mad because Barnaby kept winning. Well, now I have to change. What? Why? Because now I'm in the wrong bow tie. You're in your bowling dress. I can't show up in my croquet bow tie. Oh, does that really matter? Of course it matters. Well, why? I just wouldn't be right. It's like, uh, we'll take our games, for example. It wouldn't be fun if there were rules, right? Oh, it could be. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember what happened when you tried playing hopscotch to the max? I do. It took us an hour to get you down off Howdy's roof, and we still don't know where the green chalk went. I still won. So you say. But it wasn't fun for me. So true. Maybe you should go get the game set up at home's front yard. Oh, good idea! I have to move the croquet hoops to tell Sally we're moving the opening ceremonies. Uh, thank you, Julie. Oops. You're not using hula hoops, are you? I pray! Julie, you know there's no regulation! <laughs>
And everybody loves the way I wear boots on my head. <laughs> If I do. Okay. Uh, these ones won't take long. Hopefully. Um. Oh, mystery audio. Date unknown. It is currently unknown whether these three recorded dialogues are audio tracks from episodes whose visuals are yet to be found, or from another supplementary material such as a storybook record or video play. Regardless, these three sweet scenes provide us a peek into the lives of our favorite neighbors. Howdy do, fellas. What can I get for you two today? Hiya, Harry. Uh, I think we're gonna enjoy ourselves the usual. My usual for my usuals? Come on right up, Pally! The usual? I thought we were getting hot dogs. That is our usual, little buddy. It means something you and me get all the time. Kinda like a morning perusal. Oh, you mean our what? Yeah, but I like perusal better. Makes me feel like a fancy high-class pooch. A pedigree with some degrees, if you will. Oh. Alrighty. I got a bloodhound and a whirlwind of trouble and an old reliable dog. So, what's the gap today, Bon? Oh, I got a good one that's been brewing in this spot of mine all uh -huh. day. <laughs> what do you call a caterpillar after a month-long nap? A butterfly. But if you ask me, I call the poor guy a doctor. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> That's a hoot. A holly even. You always never disappoint. Hmm. Say, Wally, what about you? You got any silly arms for me today? No, but I have a joke. <laughs> what did I tell you? He's a natural. That was just a taste. Go on, kid. Okay. How does Barnaby eat his hot dog? I don't know. How? He relishes it. He sure does. Boy. Y'all getting the hang of this funny business, Walls. It won't be long before you're the one paid for these hot dogs. That's okay. I like when Barnaby buys them. It's like I said, howdy. We're a couple of usuals who know what we like. Interesting. Frank, Frank, Frank! Oh, Frank, won't you play a game with me? Oh, Julie, good morning. No, I, I can't right now. I'm watering my plants, see? Oh, I do see! Oh, I hear them, too! Gee, they sure have a lot to say! What? My soul and Lyco? What are they saying to you? Oh, shh, shh, hold on just a second, Frank. They're telling me right now. What? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 
but I, oh. I, I, oh. I, I see. Oh, you don't say. Well, well, what, what did they say? Well, your tomatoes think you have a very lovely bow tie today. They do? I... Th <laughs> Thank you. What else are they saying? Well, they also think your marigolds could be a little merrier. But I wouldn't say that in front of your flowers. I'm sorry. I'll see what I can do. They also had one last thing to say. They think that you've done such a good job gardening that you should go play jump rope with Julie to celebrate. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Julie. You were fibbing about the tomatoes telling me all that, weren't you? Oh, no, Frank. I was telling the truth. Honest. Your miracles really are very, very rude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mail call. I got mail here for Miss Partridge. I'll be taking that. Uh, uh, pardon me for asking, but... Your pardon. Uh, well, I could have sworn this was Poppy's barn. I might have made a wrong turn at that game of hopscotch outside of Julie's house. Those games always get me turned around. Of course this is her barn mailman. But she just so happens to have her feathers full at the moment. Uh, oh, <laughs> hello, dearie. I'm right here. At least, I, I think I am. Oh, goodness, it's hard to see past all this yarn. Oh, darling, she got you wearing. Can't you see she is a beautiful beanstalk? The perfect outfit for the star of my next play. Oh, yes, I forgot to ask what this role is for. It must have been sprung on me. It is for Jack and the Beanstalk, obviously, but I have taken some artistic liberties, of course. I call this rendition... Wait for it. Sally and the Beanstalk. Oh, boy. Uh, so, Sally and the Beanstalk is a little like that story about that fella who traded some cows for a couple of beans. For the same beans that eventually grow into a giant beanstalk he decides to climb up. Yes. And then he runs into that big, mean old giant at the top. The very same who chases Jack all the way down to the bottom. Oh, yes, yes. Giant. And when Jack gets to the bottom, doesn't he cut down the beanstalk with a big axe? Yes, yes, that's exactly it. But it will be yours truly as the one with the big axe instead. Don't worry. After some rehearsals, you will feel as strong and as sturdy as the role you were born to play. I think she just doesn't want to get cut down with an axe, but, you know, that's just me. Time for the Playfellow exhibition. Oh, uh, come back. Come back. I like how Wally's just like sitting in all these houses, just chilling out, which is like kind of slay for him. Um, he's just chilling. <laughs> he's literally just sitting in people's houses. I love that for him. Uh, anyway, the Playfellow Exhibition. Our goal at the Welcome Home Restoration Project has always been to explore Welcome Home's disappearance to catalog what few fragments we could find, and to seek out others who could have seen the show for themselves. It has been difficult to produce evidence of its existence, even more to find others who have heard of it. There were times when we were unsure if this website was even accomplishing what it was made for, and if it was worth keeping up at all. However, this doubt was quickly silenced when we were contacted by a successful museum curator by the name of The Question Answerer. Through this collaboration, we were allowed to the privilege to go public with our findings and to share the sentiment of welcome home with as many eyes and hearts as possible with the Playfellow exhibition. <sighs> For their safety, we, they've agreed to this title and to a face of anonymity as we have. The introduction to the exhibition was as follows. Critically praised and financially successful, Welcome Home dominated its Saturday morning time slot with its colorful cast of puppets, entertaining and addictive stories, and lively sets unlike anything seen before. Created and produced by the Playfellow Workshop, Welcome Home is believed to have a, had a four-year run from October 11th, 1969 until its abrupt pull from television in 1974. Uh, in the time since, all footage and merchandise of the entertainment powerhouse has been presumed lost. In recent years, however, the small collective at the Welcome Home Restoration Project have been able to compile, restore, arch and archive 
but few remnants of Welcome Home have been uncovered. Through their efforts, the team's hopes to reawaken the memory of this lost piece of media. We at Questions Answered Curatorial Services are honored to be able to showcase the Welcome Home Restoration Project's findings and to help further their goal to restore and rediscover the world of Welcome Home. Below are photographs of the space. Speculated Wally Darling screen test photo. Original design, estimated 1969, replica 2020. Displayed photo features either rare screen test footage of the original Wally Darling puppet or that of a replica created using sketches, script notes, and rare eyewitness recollection. Unlike many of the other neighbors, we have yet to find a Wally Darling puppet design sheet. This is a small space. Um. This is a small space. Merchandise section. This corner of the exhibition highlighted many recovered merchandise items, including picture of Wally Darling's standee and It's For You, Talking Telephone Toy by Marlowe Incorporated. Okay, now I can read this. P.S. You still owe me a knock-knock joke. Dope. I couldn't read it before. Frank and Eddie illustration. Estimate, 1969. Some recoveries bring with them more questions than answers. For example, this illustration of Frank and Eddie. The large amount of text, small details on the pair's designs, and the prominent Playbell Workshop copyright suggest it may have been a promotional image in a newspaper or magazine early in the show's run. Either way, the full original source has yet to be recovered. I'll let you guys look at the rest of this for yourself. Like I said, I might let the rest of you guys, I might let you guys like the rest of us, like yourselves, because I think I've gone over most of these in other videos. So I'm guessing this is Wally in the background with House, or with, yeah, with House. Um, yeah. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen this before. Welcome home worksheet. How well do you know this colorful neighborhood? Who is the funniest neighbor? Barnaby, who shines brighter than any star? The star, I don't remember her name. Who's the biggest chicken? Poppy, speaks to the flowers. Uh, Frank, and best friend, Wally. Special prize. What's the prize? Tell me the prize. I wanna know the prize. <sighs> okay, this is cool. Cute. Oh, they actually had the puppet. This is what he theoretically looks like. Interesting. This is cool. But yeah, I'll let you guys read the stuff on your own. Um, yeah. It's a drawing. Do you like home? Home is my house. Do you have a home too? Do you hear it too? You can hear mine. That is isn't interesting. The fact that host house seems to be kind of Sentient? I have a guest book. Uh. No! No! No, I knew. I know. What? Wait. 
Oh, I can't add any more messages? Did my message from the last time get added? I want to know. Um, yeah, you guys be free. feel free to check this stuff out. I want to see if there are any new codes. So, I'm going to look up if there are any new codes. Okay, so I apparently missed one um, on the About Us page. Did I? No, not the About Us page. Which maybe I'm silly. I'll just type it in. <laughs> Found it! I didn't find it. I had to type it in. thinking about it it's pretty fucked up <laughs> uh, okay so i was partially right about something that i didn't say out loud for this page playfell exhibition because hold on there's this question sheet right at the end right here and the answers are barnaby sally s uh poppy julie or not julie frank and, um, or no, this is Julie, because Julie speaks to the flowers. And then Wally. So if you put B S B S P J W. Oh, maybe I did it wrong. Oh, never mind. There's a staff only page. I don't know how to get there. Um... All right, uh, yeah, there's some stuff here. I'm going to leave this for the next episode, which is starting as soon as this one ends. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.